Hello friends, welcome back to another video. If you're new and not subscribed, I'm Kayla Baim and you should really think about subscribing to my channel because the bestest things in the world happen when you do that. So, subscribe. For today's video, makeup guru Kayla Baim is in the building. So, obviously my makeup is very minimal and I have no idea if I even apply my makeup the way you're supposed to apply it have no idea what techniques what brushes I'm supposed to use what color I'm supposed to use to accentuate my eyeballs isn't that what makeup gurus care about I have no idea I don't even wear foundation okay this is just my beautiful complexion already I saw that there's a lot of girls who know how to contour and highlight their faces and I wanted to be like them. So I looked up a tutorial on how to contour my face and this is what happened. <laughs> Someone's shining a flashlight over here. Um, this ring light is doing nothing. Is that a good look? Does that look better? Whoa. Okay, whatever. Let's contour. Stand over here. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing contouring and highlighting and concealer. So today I'm going to be using this one from NARS. It's the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard. Two to three shades lighter than your foundation shade. So I like to use this one because... What's two to three shades lighter than pale? Um, well, my concealer shade is Fair Warm, which I don't think is my concealer shade anymore. Once upon a time, it was Fair Warm, but then I stopped leaving the house. Is this the same? Whoa. No, the thing that's in the bathroom. Is it oh yeah, that thing's really strong. <laughs> or dark circles, this is really going to help oh, cancel yeah, it out, those. but it also does That's help not to nice. the brightening effect that we're going for. Today, the dark circle. <laughs> I don't have dark circles. Oh, wow. Well. You did the other day. Do Remember? I have dark circles? <laughs> this is a good uh, close-up. Hello. Okay, she said make a triangle. Triangle. You guys ready? Oh. Down to your nostril. Oh. <laughs> Why? You make me mess up. <laughs> a lot of space covers there. Wait, what are you trying to say? <laughs> wow. Why she put so much? That's what I'm saying. I feel like I'm face painting. What? This is crazy. How does she not run out of concealer? I feel like she must be investing in this quite often. Does that look good? Like a little triangle motion. Then with the same concealer, I'm taking that in between the brows and then up onto the forehead in a little yeah, palm tree motion. And then down the bridge of the nose, this you want to keep as straight as you possibly oh. can because this is what's beginning our nose contour. Then I take it down the cupid's bow towards the lips and then that's continuing really that line fast. on the chin. Yeah, you're going too fast. Wow, I thought this was for beginners. No, well, it is now. Uh, well, that's pretty straight. Cupid's bow. And then she did some on her chin. Okay, um, well, you know, definitely need to fix the chin. Wow, this is so good. How come? Do people do this in the morning? Lastly. Whoa, she goes so fast. Okay. Oh, wow. And then underneath cheekbones. Okay. I don't know, do I have cheekbones? Okay, what next, Roxanne? This is really gonna give you a slim down effect. It's going to bring out any areas that you benefit Hula Quickie Contour Stick. Now, contour um, is really important because that is the step in this whole 
routine. So I don't have a stick. I have a palette. So um, I don't know what to do. What we're gonna do is take our little quickie contour stick. No, I don't have go at it. Quickie. So I first like to take the contour underneath the cheekbones to really get that defined look that we want. Then I, I just, start to take the product. I'm just gonna use a brush. Okay, this is where I start to uh, creative discretion. I don't know what shade. She didn't specify like she did. No, I didn't. Oh, whoa. Is this the right shade? You, um, it looks not my shade. Well, we're just going to go with it. What do you mean? She's doing the face. Do you guys do that too? Is anything going on my face? How come she hasn't blended any of this I out? The temples, and because I have a round face shape, I like to really heavily contour the sides of my oh. face to elongate it. If you have more of an already naturally elongated face, then you're going to actually want to go lighter on the sides, but heavier on the forehead area. No, I, I don't. I have a bowling ball head. So I go all the way up the temple, she said. Don't want that bowling ball head. Is anything coming on my face? I look ridiculous. This is fantastic. It kind of looks like I'm smearing dirt all over my face. I don't know if that's the look we're going for. Um, might just be the wrong shade though. I can't even see a difference. Oh yeah, my face looks so slim already. Wow, oh my gosh. <laughs> Can you see that? <laughs> oh, she's using a... a, a Wonder, I have one of those, okay, beauty guru. Um, there's a permanent triangle on my face. Oh no. She says not to swipe. If you swipe, you're doing it wrong, that's what she said. I don't think it's supposed to look like this at all. Oh no. Oh, I went into my eye. <gasps> what do I do if it's not blending? Huh? What do I do then? Oh my gosh. I don't think this is the look. Should I use a brush maybe? Wow, this is crazy. I don't think I should have waited so long to blend it. Uh. Perhaps I might need some new concealer because the triangles are not going away. <laughs> Do I look good? Do you see how much lighter my face is right now compared to- whoa. Does it look good? <laughs> it's not blending! Roxanne didn't say anything about this. Yeah, I can't help it. I have to <laughs> <laughs> There might be something wrong. <laughs> Are you doing a circus artist video? <laughs> I'm doing contour. Oh, good golly, Kayla. I don't know what happened. <laughs> the base. Was I supposed to put foundation on first? Do you think that would have helped? Foundation? Wow, this just is not working. I could get a little bit more um, payoff with because uh, I'm this so precise. Is really amazing. It's very, very creamy and pigmented. Um, so I wanted to get like the full effect. Oh, I got the full effect. Tutorials for some reason. I forget liquid highlighter. I don't know. Where does she get all this stuff from? She's like liquid highlighter. I got my quickie stick. I don't have that. I don't have a quickie like, stick. Like, we got that under control. We remembered. It's all right. It's we under control. Um, and then set down the <laughs> contour. So I know this is a lot of guys' contours, I should say. So this is the Morphe E47. It has a super flat and narrow edge. So I literally... I like, have a fan brush. To my nose. Okay, she has some fancy brush. We're just doing a fan brush, okay, from Walmart. Wow. Doesn't my nose look so much slimmer? God, don't forget to highlight it. You gotta highlight your nose. That's the key. I just look dirty. Is that what contouring's supposed to do? Make you look dirty? Did I do it? 
It's crooked. Oh no, my camera's crooked. Does it look good? Really slim down my face. <laughs> Roxanne, was I supposed to put foundation on first? Cause right now, I thought it was supposed to brighten my face. It made me look even paler somehow. All right, well, <laughs> that's it for today's video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and leave in the comments down below how great my contouring skills were. I really don't know what happened. Um, maybe I needed to put foundation on first. Maybe there was something wrong with my concealer. Maybe I just don't know how to contour my face. Who knows? There were so many different problems here. I don't know exactly where I started to go wrong. Maybe when I hit record, that's where I went wrong. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna give myself a 10 out of 10 for this one, okay? <laughs> but I'll see you guys back here next time. Peace.